Hey everybody, Pierre Marquette 1223 back here with another all original great condition railroad lantern. This one here is from one of my favorite railroads, the Pennsylvania, and is made by the Hanlon Manufacturing Company out of St. Louis, Missouri. This is a Hanlon uh, little short globe railroad lantern. They had a different couple different variations of short globes. This one was kind of their own unique one because it had a unique globe shape and size. This is I don't remember what the model number is but these lanterns take a very odd four and a half inch globe versus at the time when these were made they were making short globes which are the three and a quarter and the Vestas were out with a four and a quarter the Ad Lake 100s were out with which I think actually were not actually made when these were being made. The Ad Lake 100s had a four inch globe and these are also I mean, they're just one of those weird things. But anyway, it was just a handling thing. Uh, these lanterns were made for decades, and they only did a couple modifications to them. They later on took and changed up the globe retainer in the lids to where they could take an ad like Caro style globe, that three and a quarter globe, which made them a little bit more universal. But the older ones, at least as far as I can tell you, I could be way wrong on this, but the older ones um, did not take that carol globe and some of them were later kit bashed with the retainers but this is the four and a half inch globe and i'm going to get into this one this one like i said marked for the pensy it is triple marked which is also really cool um get into the lantern as you can see Hanlon st louis the keystone is predominantly stamped on top the bale is commonly kept in the locked position this one has also a very simple globe lock you just take your little tab right here, right here, and you push it up, and now your handle moves. However, it's and it has a lot of pivoting range. However, I prefer to keep my handles in the locked position, be just for display purposes. So we'll keep the cold locked down. This one is in all original condition. You can find these in just about any road name. The Penzi was a big buyer. A lot of the railroads in the in the Midwest were big buyers. New York Central bought some. Santa Fe did. I mean, they can be found. Southern Pacific. A lot of these are usually pretty beat up. I find a lot of the handlings have been pretty well used. Um, this one, however, is not in bad shape. I picked up locally and I actually burned. So this is one of my favorite burners. It's out of fuel right now, but you look and see it's got a PRR etched into the globe, made by Cop Glass Company. And they always say Hanlon 6 on these globes. I don't know if that was the model or just the type of globe, but they say Han it says Hanlon 6 on it. If you can if I would hold it in front of the camera. Hanlon 6. And now you're asking, okay, there should be one more mark on this. Well, it's not on the bottom because that's all the patent information. Hanlon, St. Louis, it's a little bit hard to read, but there's a bunch of patents there. Like, uh, what's it say? It looks like 5, 5, 25, 25, 22, uh, 25. I mean, there's a couple numbers on there. I can't really read it that well. But if you take and you pull it out... Well, wouldn't you know it, it's stamped on the tank as well. I and mean, if you notice, it's backwards. It was stamped when the tank was before it was even pressed. So it's actually stamped from... No, well... Okay, it's actually stamped from the outside. I've seen them both ways. This stamping happens to be backwards for some weird-ass reason. But if you take the burner off, and you look in that tank you can see the PRR in there, which is really cool. And this is also a pretty typical Hanlon burner, this flat wick burner takes, I believe a five, maybe a half inch wick, three eighths wick, something like that. Um, they made a, the older burners have this flat wick style design. You can see it says Hanlon St. Louis on the knob. A lot of the newer ones have a round wick design not sure why that is because the round wicks typically were not as bright but i know that they were the round wicks were more characteristically used in switch lamps and did burn longer so that could be something as to why that is 
Uh, picked this one up locally, didn't pay really an arm and a leg for it. Like I said, you can find these things relatively easily. The hard part is finding one in good shape because they are usually pretty beat up. A lot of the wires are bent, usually some dents in the lids, uh, rusty. You know, I mean, they were used long and hard. So, found my Penzi one. The Penzi ones are probably one of the more common ones to come by. New York Central, um, B&O, Santa Fe, Sun Pacific. A lot of those road names I listed earlier are usually some of the more common ones. However, you can find some more obscure road names on these. They were a big competitor to the Adelaide Caro at the time. So they are out there. Um, like it just depends on the color of the globe that's in them, what's on the globe. You can find etched globes. I've never found an embossed one. I don't think they embossed these. Um, but the globes are etched and they come in every color. So they are out there. They can be found. And I really like this style of lantern. I do not have the shorter globe version. Those are usually even more beat up and hard to find in good shape. I don't buy beat up pieces of crap. I usually look out for good pieces and I wait for good pieces. So it's pretty rare to find something that I have that's usually beat up unless it's just really, really rare or I'm gonna restore it. But this is all I have on the Hanlon Manufacturing Company, Pennsylvania Railroad, triple marked, railroad lantern.